We have a major technology coming to market here and repeaters poised to make 5G and 6G great. All right. So obviously we know the limitations of the millimeter wave spectrum. Super high frequency needs a boost in order to really have some kind of reach. Uh, this could be what we're looking for here. Repeaters, uh, commonly known for cellular networking, haven't really necessarily been that great. They do amplify the signal and you know push wireless signals to help them reach more. But what ends up happening is they end up amplifying these radio signals in all of its good and bad glory. All right, so what we're going to be seeing with the newest 3G PP 5G standards is that these repeaters will actually be selective. We can take the good of a wireless or radio-based signal and amplify it, and we could take the bad and omit it and not amplify it, because that's something we've seen in repeaters in the past, is if you've got a lot of noise, if you've got interference, when you amplify that and you you know repeat it, all of those bad things in the network, in that networking and that signal can also be amplified. So the notion revolves around using mirror-like smart services that could be integrated into everyday objects as intelligent components of the radio network. So enhancements or supplements to the network, like I said, millimeter wave has its limitations. This can be a low cost strategy and technique and tool to make millimeter wave better. And at the same time, enhancing the signal, you know, making it stronger and repeating it without also magnifying the, the painful parts of some of those, you know, undesirables in the signal. So you're going to have some network energy savings because you won't need as many points or nodes. You can essentially have like one millimeter wave node stretch over like two, three, four, maybe five blocks. You can daisy chain repeaters, right? And you can use things like these reflective services, uh, services to help with these types of things. So smart repeaters are coming very, very soon. Release 18 of the 3GPP standards is in the works and ongoing. And we could start looking at 5G advanced features and these repeaters with these surfaces offer huge potential advantages. All right. Now, my guess is we'll probably see this with Verizon first because they will have the most robust millimeter wave build. And then these types of enhancements can be had, whether you're in neighborhoods or your downtown areas and urban centers where these types of signals are just bouncing all over the place. And they can keep high quality. So all of this in 5G and 6G. This is pretty exciting. This is a cool tech. Very nice. Tell me what you guys think of the technology. Tell me what you think of the capabilities and what this is going to mean for 5G and 6G. Thoughts welcome down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe for more from the SMT. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Links in the description box for my Patreon page. Support us there. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else discounts on those mobile just for supporting us email and twitter handle are in the description as well thanks for watching we'll see you all in the next video